What's up, beautiful people, gang, gang, soul tribe? This is up, and welcome, and welcome back to the I Am On YouTube channel, which is a channel all about self love and self understanding through astrology and spirituality and everything in between. So, if you're looking for a self development channel that you can relate to, subscribe. This is the right time to subscribe. Don't leave it for later because you might forget. So, in this video, I am going to be talking about how to recharge your energy. So we are energetical beings. We are made of energy. We are made from energy. Energy is the only thing that cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transformed from one element or one form to another, right? That means that energy is constant, right? So energy, as much as it's constant, it's always changing and change is constant, right? And I hope I didn't lose anyone there. But basically what I'm saying is we are all made from one source, which is energy. Everything has energy. This chair has energy. I have energy. This has energy. Everything around us has energy. So in order to better understand our own energy, we also have to understand the energy that is outside of us as much as the energy that is within us. And once you start understanding your own energy, that it becomes easier to not attach and kind of separate yourself from other people's energies because you are like oneness, you are within yourself, right? So there's many reasons to why your energy levels could be down. It could be that you're not drinking water, you're not eating right, you're not exercising. You know the basic stuff that they've been teaching us since high school or even primary, that eat right, eat your vegetables, you will have a lot of energy because of those um, plants have a high vibration. They have a high energy level. That's one of the reasons when you eat right, then you feel good. You know, like even when you eat like that apple, you know, you'll be feeling good. You'll be feeling like, oh, you're doing something right. You know, when you're eating that broccoli, although it don't taste good, you know, like it don't taste good. You know, I mean, if you can find a recipe to make the food that you do not really like taste good, because at the end of the day, you're still eating that broccoli. You know, you just have to be more um, aware and conscious of the food that you in intake because at the end of the day, we are what we consume, right? And one of the things that we consume is food, right? Which has a big influence on our immune system and our well-being. But we've been told this a lot of times, so I'm not going to get into details, but eating right is very important. So another thing is drinking water. So drinking water, um, what helps me drink water is not just the idea of drinking water because for some reason, because I am supposed to drink water, I don't want to drink water. Like, why am I drinking water? Just because I'm supposed to do it, I want to do it. Like, I'm just so rebellious. I, I just want to, I don't want to follow the status quo. I don't want to drink water because it's healthy, you know? So what I do is I add a little magic to it, right? So when I drink my water, I make sure that I speak life into the water, you know? I speak health. And I'm telling you, yo, ever since I started doing that, um, like I don't remember the last time I got really sick, like flu even or whatever. June started and ended. I don't remember coughing. <laughs> you know, like ever since Corona, actually, I made a conscious decision that I was not going to cough. I was not going to be sick. And I am glad to say that I haven't caught any flu ever since then. So I guess being delusional works, you know. So drinking water is very important. So you can speak into the water. Water has a lot of energy. Water has a lot of emotion, which is energy in motion. So whatever you speak into the water changes the molecule or the feel or the emotion of the water. So if you speak life into the water, then it will give you life, right? If you speak health, it will give you health. But if you speak negativity upon water, um, then, yay, you know, you are speaking sickness upon yourself because we are made of 70% of water, right? So that means that when water comes in our body, it blends in and becomes one. It becomes itself, you know? So it becomes you. You become the water. So drinking the water, drink your water, speak to your water, pray. 
um, upon your water, you know, change the feel of the water because water that is prayed for and water that is not prayed for actually, you know, has an emotional and an energetical difference. So another way to recharge your energy is to get rid of toxic people. Well, I've been fortunate enough to not even try to get rid of toxic people. They just like remove themselves from my life, you know, for whatever reason they saw it as, but I was really happy that you know now i ha i can contain my energy because immediately when you are with a toxic person you inherit that energy because energy is contagious whether we like it or not your tribe is your vibe whatever you vibing with whatever your vibration is whatever your 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 energy is is the energy that you're going to attract back to yourself so if you're attracting toxic people then of course you're going to vibrate lower of course you're going to have a low energetical level because you are constantly up absorbing the negative energy, whether it's from the negative thoughts and the negative conversations, the negative, whatever negativity they're bringing in your life, cut that shit out, cut that shit out, like prioritize yourself, your own energy. It is very important to always be in your own vibe. It's very important to also be in environments that support your vibe. Like for example, you cannot be in, in a toxic environment and still remain sane within yourself unless you meditate, you know, so that means that now you're contained within yourself. And when you're contained within yourself, that means that you're already vibrating higher. That means your energy is very high. You know, you're vibrating at God's level. You are very enlightened. But if you're not med meditating, being in a toxic environment can be very detrimental to your energetical level. You can find yourself feeling bad, vibrating really low in such a way that vibrating really low basically means that you are vibrating at the frequency of sad sadness, anger, lust, rage. Like you are not a blissful, happy person, you know, and I'm not saying that we have to try to be happy because happiness is not something to be attained, but something that is within, you know? So that's why I also go back to meditating and just being in stillness and listening to yourself, which also takes you away from your environment because when you are meditating, you are not so focused on what is happening, who did what, which email you did not receive, who, did, what at work, you know, you're not there, you're just within yourself and you are literally denying your environment, your energy, and you are denying yourself that environmental energy and you are contained within yourself. So that is one of the things that you can do. Okay, and another one is being in love, right? So a lot of people might be like, girl, you saying I must find me a man, I must find me a girl. No, you don't need to find love. You don't need to chase after love. Love is not something that you attain. It's something that is within yourself. So if you have a certain expectation of how somebody is supposed to love you, or let's say you don't even have an expectation of somebody supposed to how somebody supposed to love you, but you are a naturally loving person. You give it your all. Like when you get into a relationship, you know, you know, you hold it down, you hold it down, you hold it down for the team, you know. Like if you know you that person, that means that same love you will kind of expect, even though you don't expect it, it's love that you should also give it to yourself, you know, like being in love yourself with yourself and it's hard to be in love with yourself because you go with yourself every day you know like you are with yourself every day you look it's really if you look yourself in the mirror every single day or every single now and then then it builds a certain insecurity because um we made equally with all beauty and the ugliness you know that's why even the prettiest people will find something ugly about them or find something to be insecure about them because it's just that balance of beauty and ugliness, right? So now if we're spending more time with ourselves, spending more time in the mirror, then we tend to not really like ourselves so much, right? Because we're just like, oh, now I see how that I look, you know? <laughs> you know, it's just like crazy. So another way that I deal with confidence is I write down affirmations. Like every single time I pass by a mirror, I remind myself that I'm a bad bitch, I'm that girl, I'm so pretty, I'm that rich girl, you know, I'm getting this money, I'm like everything that I need to, you know, hide myself up, I'm gonna do that shit because, you know, she, she's still pretty, you know? If you mad, you mad, go take a sleep and be asleep, boop, boop. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> so listen to uplifting music. 
So music has frequency, it has vibrations. You have frequency, you have vibration because you have energy and music has its own energetical levels or frequencies, right? So a certain type of music or sound um, elevates your mood. It can either make you feel good, make you feel angry, make you feel sad, make you wanna cry like a baby, make you remember the ex that you just wanna be, you know, like the ex. You know, I'm kidding, we're all the exes here. But anyway, so different music caters for different emotion because emotion is just basically energy in motion, like I said. So when you listen to certain music, it elevates your um your mood, it elevates your emotion. So it's very important to be aware of the music that you listen to, right? So I'm not here to tell you about no Illuminati and how you should be scared of what Beyonce say in which song. Nah, anybody got time for it, right? But there's music that is there to elevate your spirit, that is there to elevate your energy, to elevate your, your mind, to expand your mind, to expand your spirit, to expand, 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 make you feel good, right? So those are the type of songs that you want to gravitate towards, especially when you feel like your energy is down. That, that song that you like, that song that you like, that you know lyric for lyric, you know it. You know it. Play that song. It'll definitely put you in the mood for the fact that you even know the lyrics. I mean, like, yeah, play your, your favorite song, play your favorite playlist, you know, like, uplift yourself. And another way is to become more creative, right? So some people will go into painting, some people will go into drawing, coloring, um, singing, making music, like anything that is creative. So another reason your energy is down is because your energy wants to express itself and you're suppressing it, right? So it is very important that you become creative because creativity is that emotional energy. It's like that sexual energy of creation, the one God created us for. God created us so that we continue creating, so that we continue expanding. So if you're not expanding, if you're not emotionally satisfied and happy and creative and out there exploring and doing all of these things and you're just always indoors, it's it does make your energy very stagnant. So that's one of the reasons you could feel down. And going out is very also important because then you can get the fresh air you know sometimes when you're breathing the air of especially after lockdown we know everybody been indoors some people still love being indoors so if you love being indoors it's definitely fine being in solitude enjoying your own energy your own vibe but it's very important to also go outside and interact because at the end of the day we are social beings and we need to socialize right last but not least colors so we also know that colors vibrate okay colors have energy you know colors have their own frequency you know so when it comes to colors if you feel that you are not confident wear yellow yellow is very bold it's confident it helps to boost your confidence if you're feeling very um emotional or you feel like you're not creative wear that orange you know orange is the color of creation if you feel like you're not stable you're not secure within yourself you're insecure you're overthinking and all of these things then wear your red so those are the ways that we can raise our vibrations that we can recharge our energies to feel better to feel lighter to feel happier to feel you know at peace if anything else but thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you in the other videos don't forget to subscribe like and share with your family and i hope to see you in the other videos and that's what's up